Hello. Hi. Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman. I'm Belle. And we are continuing our Overwatch animated shorts with the final short, my personal favorite, uh, titled Dragons, which, as I said at the end of the last one, focuses on two characters, uh, Hanzo and Genji. Uh, it's also going to, as you can tell, they're Asian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to get too much into them. Uh, just that that's who they're focusing on. Okay. Uh, and I'll go into why this was my personal favorite at the After. end and all that. But, uh, yeah. The video is going to be located in the corner over here. And uh, there's going to be a link into the description that leads to the Play Overwatch channel. So you can like and subscribe the original video and their channel if you haven't done so already. And a link to the Overwatch, to the Blizzard store. In case you feel like you need to watch, or not watch, but play and buy Overwatch now. So, um, we are going to start this video in 3, 2, 1, now. I think this is the longest one at 8 minutes. of an ancient legend about two great dragon brothers. The dragon of the north wind and the dragon of the south wind. Together, they upheld balance and harmony in the heavens. Japan. And this is also a map in the, uh, the game. Oh, okay. It's called Hanamura. argued over who could better rule their land. Their quarrel turned to rage and their violent struggle darkened skies until the dragon of the south wind struck down his brother who fell to earth, shattering the land. Shimara Castle, the den of your enemies. This was once my home. Did your masters not tell you who I was? I know who you are, Hanzo. I know you come here every year on the same day. You risk so much to honor someone you murdered. You know nothing of what happened! I know you tell you 
yourself that your brother disobeyed the clan and that you have to kill him to maintain order that it was your duty it was my duty and my verdict that does not mean i do not honor him <laughs> you think you honor your brother Genji with incense offerings? Honor resides in one's actions. You dare to lecture me about honor? You are not worthy to say his name! Yep, knew it. Only a Shamada can control the dragons. Who are you? Do it then. Kill me. No. I will not grant you the death you wish for. You still have a purpose in this life. Brother. No. No. My brother is dead. time he was able to clearly see the world around him and he became human the stranger revealed himself as his fallen brother reunited the two set out to rebuild what they had once destroyed what have you become i have accepted what i am and i have forgiven you now you must forgive yourself the world is changing once again, Hanzo. And it's time to pick a side. Real life is not like the stories our father told us. You are a fool for believing it so. Perhaps I am a fool to think there is still hope for you. But I do. Think on that, brother. <laughs> so yeah, that's my personal favorite. I can see what I can see why. I felt like I got the most emotional satisfaction through that one. one. Yeah. It gets me. It does. <laughs> it does. You have more like feelings watching it compared to like all the other ones. You're just like, "Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. It's nice. I enjoyed it." This one you actually Well, I mean, it's about the two brothers. I yeah. mean, you I, I heard you say I knew it. <laughs> it's it did you know right away? Or I was a, it just heavily implied? I had a I had a feeling. Kind of felt like eh, like maybe. But I was like, I have a really big feeling. That's gonna be him. And that that's gonna be like ah! and it was and I was like, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> um I see a, I see a lot of videos where people usually when they're watching this they already know. So it's not like a big surprise. But occasionally I'll find one where somebody like doesn't actually put it all together until he actually calls him brother. 
mm-hmm. and they're like, oh my god. That makes so much sense. Oh my god. Like, what? <laughs> and uh, then you get those where they're like, it's his brother. Knew it. And it's like, ugh, well, okay, that wasn't a... It's not the kind of reaction I wanted, but all yeah. right. <laughs> I still really liked it, watching it. But I got more satisfaction getting the confirmation. Mm-hmm. It was his brother. Because then now he forgave you. You need to forget your... For, ooh, my ear. You need to forgive yourself. I like this one the best, personally. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, if you noticed, but his entire body was pretty much... Metal? Metal. Yeah. His brother, Hanzo, did a number on him. Yeah. He was pretty much dead. Uh, Overwatch found him. Their uh, doctor, her name... Well, her actual name is Angela Ziegler, but her code name is Mercy. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and she actually kind of looks like an angel. She wears like this thing that has like a little halo on the top of it, and she has like these wings, mm. and it's like a white outfit. So she does kind of look like an angel, I guess, which is why they came up with Mercy. Mm-hmm. Uh, she does a lot of experimental type of procedures. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one was, I guess, one of them with him, pretty much doing a almost a full robotic. Uh, transplant type thing. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I think because they mentioned it in the in the game that a lot of his insides are still human, mm-hmm. but his outside is all Metal. almost me- mechanical, except for that front part right here. And I don't know if you noticed. This is one of the things I was talking about with like little details. After he takes his mask off, there was like something on his skin, like yeah, that was like based that was based off of like the. Uh, the fight he had with his brother. There's mm-hmm. still a lot of scarring done from that. But I was going to talk more about Hanzo, where you can see him in his eyes, like the whole outline mm-hmm. of Genji and like the lights and everything just reflecting off of his eyes. Mm-hmm. I find that really cool, where they do little things like that. Small things, small yeah. details. Um, you don't actually see his face completely. No. I know a lot of people were like going, oh my god, we're going to see what he looks like. And they only show like this part. And like, oh, well, that's kind of a cop out. But they could just not show you anything. Yeah, be grateful <laughs> they got anything instead of nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hanzo is another one that people don't really like. One because, well, he uses that bow and arrow. Unlike Widowmaker, where you actually zoom in, you have to actually like aim and yeah. shoot. And you have to be pretty good at where Doing you that. gotta place the, the arrow. like crosshairs and everything. Knowing, okay, well, if I have to aim it a little higher because it's gonna kind of go down arch. So I gotta maybe go a little bit above their head and like that, and then they're moving around. So it's like how much even harder. Yeah, no. That's but too if, much. if you get a really good Hanzo player, they're pretty annoying because <laughs> you can just be running around and then boom, you're dead. <laughs> or they'll like that one attack he did with the arrows that bouncing all over the place. It's called scatter shot. He actually uses that in the game. I always find it annoying when I'm like hiding behind like a wall and he shoots that and boom, he still ends up killing me because arrows are scattering and they hit me. And his uh, ultimate, the dragons, that goes through walls. So. Cheat. (laughs) Yeah, it'll hit you no matter where where you're hiding. If he knows you're there. And it'll kill you pretty quickly whether you're using a shield or not. Genji. Uh, pretty much the way he is in this. The only difference is he doesn't have to use his ultimate, where the dragon was coming out from the sword, Mm -hmm. to reflect his ultimate, like Hanzo's ultimate. Mm -hmm. As long as you hit the arrow that he shoots at you, it'll reflect it. Oh, okay. Uh, I think that was mostly for, like, uh, cinematic purposes. Yeah. I feel like it's more appealing if I, if we use his ultimate to show him reflect the dragons. Uh, and it was. That was really cool. <laughs> uh, he can also be annoying because he double jumps. Oh. Uh, and you're like trying to aim and he'll jump up in the air and you're like, okay, shoot. And then he'll boop, jump up a little more. And, and then you're like, ah. And his, he has two different ways of throwing his shuriken. One is straight, so you get three coming straight at you, or they spread. Oh. Uh, so you're trying to dodge and one will still probably get you. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
he can again like he was doing with the scatter shot reflect your shots mm -hmm. I think it lasts for maybe three four seconds but if you're just kind of uh, kind of a stupid player and you're just constantly shooting at him while he's reflecting they're gonna bounce back at you and probably kill you yeah the, a lot of a lot of Genji players do that to the bastion get players who stay in the turret because he's just going really fast with his bullets mm -hmm. and he's reflecting them all that's a good way to kill a bastion mm. uh, but yeah this one is my personal favorite and I guess now your favorite <laughs> I got the most satisfaction out of watching that one uh, most of the time I don't know if I was more focused on how you were going to respond to it or not but usually it te gets me teary eyed like when they they do the dragon part where he says, you know, I killed my brother and, you know, without him I'm lost and all that. That usually gets me. Mm -hmm. Not so much the reveal. The whole dragon part usually gets me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't know if I was too focused on... What I was going to do. Yeah, how you were going to respond to it. And didn't actually get that this time. But normally, no matter how many times I watch it, that happens. Mm. Uh, okay, so how would you rank all of the videos from your favorite down to your least favorite I don't want to be cheap but it's the order you have it <laughs> okay so I pretty much picked exactly how because I didn't the first one was all right but there wasn't much to it the second one would then be the next one they kind of just like the way you showed me is like the best way the only thing I would say is maybe the second and third one are like super duper like close, close. to where they might be tied. They are, they're pretty much tied, I would say. That would be, like, the only difference for me. It's just the second one's the cinematic, like, beauty and animation. And audio just kind of, like... Pushes it a little bit. A little bit. Or else it would be one... Three the, and two. Yeah. Yeah, my, my top three are pretty much that same reason. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like Sombra. As a character. Yeah, she's the funniest. Um, but just the whole, like, animation and cinematography from the second one, like, pushes it a little bit above. Yeah. And this one, the whole, like you said, emotional impact, pushes it above that one. Yeah. Which yeah. is why that, it's like really close, the top three for me are like really close. Yeah. As far as how they're ranked. But... Because one kind of edges something out a little bit in a certain area, that's why I kind of have it in that order. Yeah. Um, so it's basically the same for you. Like I said, don't want to be cheap, but I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, not going by video, but by character that you watched. Who would be your... Sombra. Sombra. Yeah. I really like Sombra. <laughs> she's the funniest I like her the best I like her I don't know I just like everything about her I like her like what she can do her attitude her humor the fact that she like messes around with Reaper <laughs> I don't know I like her personally the best as a character yeah I just like her whole personality yeah out of everybody else she seems to have the best personality yeah. she's like laid back and just I'm just gonna have fun while I'm doing this <laughs> yeah well, everyone else is kinda like Meh. I also thought it was really funny in her video where she's telling the girl, you know, I'm not going to kill you, but there's like, step over this person I just killed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just going to get that point across that I can't kill you. Yeah. And she was like, oops, step. Like really slowly. Yep. <laughs> you got to go outside? Or... Yeah. So yeah, she's... Definitely my favorite. Uh, I think next would be, as far as actual character, Reaper. Reaper? For me. Just, he's not, there's not a whole lot to him. But I just like him. <laughs> I'd say I liked, what's her face? Widowmaker? Yeah. I don't know what is the, is she just, she intrigues me. Just the whole, what, mythology behind her? Mm-hmm. And like everything that happened? You should probably read up on her. 
I feel like maybe I should. I, she intrigues me. Her character intrigues me the most, I'd say. Yeah. She's uh, interesting. She is. Like, she seems like she's got an interesting, like, story. Mm-hmm. Oh, going back to Mercy. I don't know if she actually had a part in Reaper, or if they just took, like, Talon took certain medical procedures she has, but part of her medical research led to how he is. Mm. What? <laughs> I think that was Facebook. Oh. They kind of mentioned that in in-game conversations between the two. Where I, it's basically, if she's in the same, like, uh, match with him, mm-hmm. if she's in the same group, she kind of says, what happened to you? And he'll be like, you tell me, Doc. Uh. So it's like, okay, so something happened between those two. Those two. I don't know why, she, if she did have a part in it, I don't know why she would make it that he had to eat souls yeah. to survive. Well, she probably didn't have, like, a full control over what it was. It was probably just like what you said. He took some of the... Different procedures and just said, let's just do this. Yeah, let's just make our own. And that's why he is the way he is. Because I think right now he's pretty much... He's pretty much, uh... Immortal? Because you saw, he pretty much yeah. got vaporized in his, but still alive. Yeah. Excuse me. And yeah, then he has to eat souls. <laughs> yeah, so... But yeah, he, he's also Mexican, by the way. Mm. Uh, his name's Gabriel Reyes. I think he's more Mexican-American. Ah, gotcha. While Sombra is just Mexican. Uh, also another reason I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Got that... Like sassy Latina oh, in the group, gotcha. you know. <laughs> uh, Widowmaker, I'm sure you could tell is French. Uh, that's basically all I really know. About yeah, her. she's French. They kidnapped her, brainwashed her, she killed her husband, and now she's fighting on the bad guy side. Yeah. Possible bad guy, because again, their meth, their the whole thing is pretty much like, what are they? Are actually trying to accomplish. Yeah, here. are they trying to do good, but then they're just doing bad tactics of doing it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Genji, he's on. Oh, he's on. He's in Overwatch. Hanzo really isn't affiliated with anybody. He's just kind of wandering around. Mm-hmm. Uh, Genji was actually. Af- I think it was after they saved him. Was recruited into Overwatch, mm-hmm. and was tasked with taking out his whole family. Mm-hmm. The uh, Shimada clan. Which is basically like a Yakuza like family. Mm-hmm. Uh, the whole reason Hanzo was told to kill him. Uh, he and Hanzo were the next in line to become the head of the family. Uh, one of them was going to get chosen. Hanzo took that very seriously and was you know, training and learning how to take care of everything as far as the family went and mm-hmm. all their business and stuff. And Genji was more of the free spirit. I'm just going to do what I feel like doing. I'm going to go and play video games at the arcade. I'm going to go and do... Have fun. Yeah. So he didn't take it very seriously. Mm. When the father died, the, uh, I guess, counsel for the family told Hanzo that he needed to take him out because he was going to be an issue. They couldn't have somebody like him in the family. So Hanzo being the, you know, uh, loyal, I'm going to follow the family, you mm-hmm. know, rules and do what they want me to do, went out and did it. Killed his brother. Pretty, like ruthlessly, from what I understand, because his body was practically gone, gone, like destroyed. Like, I think he cut him like fifty, a hundred times or something, a lot. There should have been no way he survives. Which I, I'm assuming he didn't. Which is why they had to transport everything into a mechanical body. Yeah. But after that, Hanzo left the family. He couldn't take it. He was like, I just killed my brother. Mm-hmm. I cannot deal with this. Yeah. So he left the family. And then Overwatch came, saved Genji, had him kill... Take out the whole family. I don't know who's living there now. But he accomplished his goal... But he had a whole lot of rage mm-hmm. in him, obviously, because his, you know, his brother killed him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
So he went wandering around until he found an Omnic named Zenyatta, who's also in the game. Uh, think of it, he's like kind of like a monk. He was in um, Nepal. They have like a monastery up there, and he found him, and he taught him how to accept himself. Mm-hmm. One, because his brother killed him. Two, because now he doesn't really have anywhere to belong, because he's not exactly human, but he's not Omnic. He's yeah. half. So the humans are like, No. I don't know if I could trust you because you're mostly machine. And the Omnics are like, well, I mean, you're still technically part human, so I don't know. What we can do. Well, yeah. So he's like feeling like he doesn't belong anywhere. So he's got like all this emotion and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it was Zenyatta who practically, you know, pretty much saved him by teaching him how to cope with just Everything. being himself. Mm-hmm. Let go of all of his rage, let go of all of his sadness and all of this. And just let it go. be chill. <laughs> like he used to be. Be chill. And then that's when he went out to find his brother again, which mm. is when that takes place. Oh, okay. Where he finds him, they have their little fight, and he goes, look, I forgive you. Everything's fine. You just need to... Find yourself and forgive yourself. Yeah. And then he goes off and back to Zenyatta in Nepal. So yeah. I know it took a lot for me to actually get to that yeah. because we did a whole discussion of something else, but yeah, that's basically the whole thing with them. Okay. Uh, right now, Hanzo's still traveling around. Oh. He just wanders and does his own thing. He's oh. not affiliated with anybody. No. Uh, I'm assuming Genji would like if he joined him. Yeah. Maybe one day he'll wind up in Nepal and... Find himself. Yeah, Zenyatta will help him as well. I know in the game, him and Zenyatta have some back and forth. Where Zenyatta will say, uh, I can sense the same rage in you as I did your brother. And Hanzo will be like, I am nothing like him. Oh. So he's still got... He's not right. ready to like accept, it. accept and let go. He's still holding it all in. Mm. I don't know if they'll ever get to that, because like I said, the people at Blizzard, they release these shorts, they do comics, they do all kinds of different things. They'll like just release certain things. Like if people have questions, sometimes they'll answer and give little updates on characters. So I don't know if one day they're going to have Hanzo maybe find Genji in Nepal and have him find train himself. with Zenyatta as well. But for right now, it's not looking like it. They're just doing their own thing. Okay. Uh, I also don't know when they're going to do their next short. Probably I'm hoping soon. I also don't know who it's going to be because they don't actually tell you until it's like coming up. Oh, okay. Uh, so thoughts on all of the shorts altogether? Like, did you enjoy them? I did. Hmm? It's kind of hard for me to like. If you weren't here, I probably would wouldn't appreciate them as much because you know I don't follow any of it I don't I haven't really played the game don't didn't really know too much about it yeah so you giving me more information made it better but I can see both sides like if I would have just watched it on my own I definitely wouldn't appreciate it as much Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have watched them all on my own right but the fact that I did I did enjoy watching them but I did would only probably watch the first, the last three. Again. again. So you wouldn't watch a live again? Mm. The one with Widowmaker? <sighs> I don't know, because... <laughs> I don't know, but the the last three you showed me had the most impact. Where I could, would, I could see myself just being like, maybe we could watch this. The other ones were... Not know. so much. Where I may, but it's like... If I have something else to do, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm pretty much the same with those three. Or, yeah, those three. Uh, But I don't think there's ever really a point where I'll be like, I feel like watching Recall. Yeah, no. (laughs) I mean, again, if you really like Recall, then, you know, cool, but it's just not my favorite. It's... If I had a... Any choice of them, like, if they decide, you know, we're going to take one of these off for the channel, which one should we do? My vote would be for Recall. But, yeah. Yeah. It's just personal opinion. 
Yep. Um, so if you enjoyed our reaction, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And be sure to hit the little bell so that you can turn on the uh, notifications. And uh, be sure to check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, also, if there's anything else you think Bell should know about any of these, you know, you can either put them in the comments of this video or go back to that video and put them in there. Like, anything that she might need to know about Widowmaker or Tracer or any Bastion or any of the characters. Or even any of the lore in general. You know, leave a comment. So until next time, bye. bye.